inflammatory myopathies. It's a rare disorders. These inflammatory myopathies are rare disorders characterized by immune-mediated muscle injury and inflammation. There's three disorders, polymyositis, dermatomyositis, and inclusion body myositis, all inflammation of the muscles. They occur alone or in conjunction with other, other autoimmune diseases such as systemic sclerosis or scleroderma. And with women that have dermatomyositis, they have a slight increased risk for developing visceral cancers of the lung, ovary, and stomach. These diseases, these inflammatory myopathies, are characterized by sy symmetric muscle weakness. It usually affects large muscles of the trunk, neck, and limbs. And so getting up out of a chair or climbing steps become uh, more difficult as the disease uh, you know, the longer you have it. And dermatomyositis, you can get a rash that is characterized by lilac or heliotrope discoloration. So here I got a picture of a lilac bush. A lilac bush. So to kind of give you the color. And in this patient, you can Google this to see more, but you can kind of see right here around the eye, you kind of have some discoloration here some discoloration that looks like lilac or heliotrope. So that's kind of the rash that you get with dermatomyositis. It happens in the upper eyelids and you can get periorbital edema. And the antibody mediated tissue injury is kind of what dermatomyositis is, they think. And then the polymyositis and inclusion body of myositis seems to be more mediated for cytotop cytotoxic lymphocytes. ANAs are also present in most patients, and they have a JO1 antibody uh, that's uh, directed against the transfer RNA synthetase enzyme, and the JO1 antibodies are very specific for this group of disorders. So our last autoimmune disease that we'll cover of the systemic type is the mixed connective tissue disease, also known as Sharps syndrome. It's a spectrum of pathological processes that happen in patients that clinically present with several symptoms, several signs and symptoms of SLE, polymyositis, and systemic sclerosis or scleroderma. So go back and watch the videos on SLE and systemic sclerosis and the other autoimmune diseases to kind of get a general idea of what these uh, diseases also, the signs and symptoms of these diseases are too. A unique feature of the mixed connective tissue diseases, they also call it the MCTD, um, they have high titers of antibodies towards an RNP antigen called the U1RP. So you can run that disease or that test to see if the patient has mi mixed connective tissue disease. So the other signs and symptoms of MCTD, so other signs and symptoms of this MCTD is the very, very little renal disease, and, in ex and they have an extremely good response to cortical steroids as treatment. So they have a very favorable long-term prognosis. Um, mixed connective tissue disease, or MCTD, or Sharpe syndrome, they may present with arthritis, swelling in the hands, Renaud's phenomenon, esophageal dysmotility, and you can just kind of start some, some of these as uh, Crest syndrome, which is the limited SS or systemic sclerosis type. Renaud's phenomenon, phenomenon esophageal dysmotility, myositis, inflammation of the muscles, leukopenia and anemia, fever, lymphadenopathy, and or hypergammaglobulinemia. And so MCTD, this is the ribbon, this is the ribbon to raise awareness of this condition, but it's, it's kind of a diagnosis by exclusion almost because they can present with just all these different types but there is high titers of this antibody, so it is a specific disease, 
but this is it can present as a lot of other different types of autoimmune so it can be a little tricky all right that's it we'll see you in the next video